All right, welcome back. I'm gonna show you a website that I love using when I need to get feedback for business ideas or for page designs. It's called 5secondtest.com. If you guys are following along, just open up your browser, go to 5secondtest.com. Uh, what it is, it's a website that you would use to get instant feedback um, on a website or logo you just designed. The way that it works is you'll take an image, you'll upload it. It's going to show it at random to other people on the web. They're going to look at it for five seconds, and then they're going to answer a set of questions that you made for them. Now, the concept comes from, it's, it's a graphic design kind of uh, concept. Typically, when you're designing a website, you can have someone look at the website and they can tell whether or not they like it, they don't like it, they're confused by it, how it makes them feel, and they can do all of this in five seconds. And when you try to constrain the amount of time someone has to think about something to a short period of time, that actually kind of increases the clarity um, with regards to your branding and kind of the effect it has on the person. If you make them stare at your website for too long, it actually kind of muddles the results that you can get. Now, something a lot of people don't realize is that you don't have to use this only for designs. You can actually use this for business ideas and it works just as well. So if you wanna do this, you can do this very, very quickly and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So go to 5secondtest.com um, and so what I'll typically do is I actually will just open up a Microsoft Word uh, document. So I'm going to pull this in here. Now, since I'm going after business idea and not a website design, I need to get some text and I need it to convert it into an image so someone can see it. So what I would do is, you know, consider whatever your business idea is, whatever your website, your mobile application idea is, and distill it down to one sentence. Do not do two sentence, sentences. Remember, they only have five seconds to read this sentence and to think about it. You don't want to do it longer than a sentence. And honestly, if you can't condense this idea into a sentence, then you need to sit down, spend five, ten minutes trying to do so because you're going to have to do this regardless. So let's take an example. Um, let's say I wanted to make a beverage and that beverage is, uh, let's just say it's made out of coconuts. Um, and I'm thinking about whether or not I want to launch something like that. So what I would do is I try to boil that down to maybe a sentence. So let's say uh, coconut beverage. That is uh, 5% alcohol and tastes great okay so this would be an example of a sentence that i could use if i wanted to do a coconut alcoholic beverage um you need to be careful when you write these sentences so that they're not leading and so i did this on purpose i wrote it such that it's tastes great it's actually kind of a leading um kind of phrase I'm telling them that it tastes great that's also very subjective so you want them to be able to rate this off of things that are objective and you don't want to tell them already what they think so typically that's a bad idea <laughs> Thank you.